This video will guide you through the individual pages of the application form. Information for the applicant. Please take time to read the information provided on this page as it is intended to help prepare you to fill out the application form. Choosing your organisation. On this page you will need to select your organisation via the drop down box. If you're affiliated to more than one organisation you will have more than one option to select from. Once you have selected your organisation, click Next. About your organisation. The organisation and main contact details should be pre-populated. If any of the organisation information displayed is incorrect, you will need to contact Sport Wales to have them amended. However, you can edit your own contact information via the Manage My Details section found on the home page. Next, you'll need to input bank details for your organisation. Then you'll need to select the national governing body your organisation is affiliated to by typing the first three characters into the box provided. A list of matching NGBs will appear for you to select from. About your organisation continued. Here you'll need to complete your current membership figures, so before your project takes place. Every box will need to have a figure inputted. If you don't have any members that fall into a certain category, please select zero. In the workforce section, the same rule applies when you are listing all those who are actively involved in the organisation. When you input your teams when the sessions take place, please be specific but as brief as possible. On this page you will also need to let us know if you provide any sessions in Welsh either entirely or bilingually, and how many people are suitably qualified to do this. Community Sport Investment Outcomes You will need to align your project to one of the three Sport Wales priorities, either hooked on sport, tackling inequalities, or delivering a complete sporting pathway. So for example, if you are running a local football team for boys that were looking to expand by adding a new age group, you would select Hooked on Sport. If your club is specifically looking to increase the number of disabled members, the inequalities priority would be appropriate for you. If you were looking to increase male participation in a hockey club in line with the gap identified by the NGB, the Sporting Pathway target would be appropriate for your project. You also have the option to select Unsure here. If you select this option, either the local authority panel for Community Chest or one of our Sport Wales assessors for development grants will review your application and select the relevant option on your behalf. About your project. Once you've completed the project address, you will also need to select the local authority in which your project is taking place by typing the first three letters into the box provided. You can then select the relevant option from the list that appears. So for example, if your club is based in Torvine, but your activity is taking place in Caerphilly, you would need to select Caerphilly. Please note, this does not apply for coach education courses taking place outside the local authority. When entering your project dates, please note that projects that have already started are not eligible for funding. For community chest applications, you will also need to make sure that your project start date is not before the date of the panel that your application has been submitted to. You can find out the application deadlines and panel meeting dates for each local authority on the Community Chess page of the Sport Wales website. If you don't envisage the project ending, then please enter the project end date as 12 months from the project start date. If your project is fitness related and you're unsure if reps registration is required, click on the blue question mark icon. This will show you all the information you need to know and who you can contact to verify. Having answered all the questions on the page, you will need to name your project. We would suggest that the title links with what you are applying for. About your project continued. Please select the primary focus of your project from the drop-down box. We appreciate that your project may cover more than one of these options, but we need you to pick only one option, and you can click on the question mark icon for more information on the individual options. Below this, we would suggest that you provide a brief overview of what your project will entail and why you wish to do it, as well as how you see yourself achieving these aims. 
Finally, you will need to make sure you can demonstrate how you aim to continue the project once the funding has been used. For example, charging membership fees. About the impact of your project. You also need to show the impact that your project is going to have on your organisation. To do this, click Add Project Impact and fill in the relevant details in the page that appears. Where possible, you need to show that there is an increase in members from now to after the project's completion. Once you are happy with this, click Save and Close. You will need to do this for all sections of the organisation that may be affected as a result of the project taking place. If you are aiming to apply for the upskilling of coaches, volunteers, officials, these will need to be entered onto this page. In the Other Project Outcomes box, you will need to tell us what else might your project impact on. Click the blue question mark for a list of examples. If your project will increase the use of Welsh within your organisation, you will need to let us know how many sessions and suitably qualified people you have to run those sessions here. About your project financial details. Once you've completed the section on VAT, you'll need to list every single item you wish to apply for. To do this, you'll need to click Add Project Costs. This will bring you to a new page. Select your item and type from the drop-down list and enter the details of the item in the box that appears, as well as the cost of that item. Then click Save and Close. You'll need to click Add Project Costs for each item that you wish to apply for. For further help and examples, please click the blue question mark icon. If you're in a position to make a contribution towards your project, you'll need to enter that information here. Please be advised that for community chest applications, a contribution is not mandatory unless your project costs more than £1,500. Supporting documentation. You will need to provide evidence that the bank account details you provide on your application form are in the name of the organisation and not for the individual's account, as Sport Wales is unable to pay directly into an individual personal account. In order to keep this sensitive information secure, you must attach your document using the Add link. Please ensure that the document you attach clearly displays your organisation name, account number and sort code. Please note that development grant applications also require three most recent bank statements. If you have completed this section and require further support on the final stage of the application, please see our next video.